Yo, what's up guys? So, I'm going to be showing you how to make a texture pack on mobile. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you guys with like a long intro or anything. I'm just going to get started with it. So, these are the links that I'm going to be using. Well, most of them. Alright, so the first link you're going to be using is the default texture pack link. And something else I do have to keep, uh, you do have to keep in mind is that this website changes a lot. Like, the, the method of finding it. So, you just have to keep that in mind. So, all you want to do is try to search for the... There we go. Download the Vanilla Resource Pack. And this then leads you to this download of the Vanilla Resource Pack. And as you can see, that says 1.19.2, which is the newest version. Alright, so then where it says Open In, uh, you want to press that over to Copy to Documents, or the Documents uh, icon right there. And now you have it imported over in documents. So here is when uh, you just unzip it. So you just press on the icon and it starts uh, unzipping the default pack. All right, and now it's unzipped. So this is where you can start editing everything you want. So I'm just going to start off by naming this, I don't know, uh, test pack. And I'm also going to be deleting a bunch of things that I do not need. So bottomless client blocks and sounds, we don't need that. And also animations, controllers, animations, attachables. All this, I don't think I need this for this texture pack specifically. And that drastically reduces the size of the pack, which is uh, quite helpful for people who have uh, lower end devices. Alright, so now we're going to go into textures. Alright, so we have a lot of capabilities here when it comes to editing stuff. So, I don't need any of this, so I'm just going to delete it. I think for this pack, I might try editing some items and maybe some blocks and also some armor since that's something a lot of people do. So I'm just going to delete the rest that doesn't apply to this. Items, blocks, and where's models? Okay, there it is. And the rest we can just delete. So I'm going to start off with blocks. So I think we can probably, I don't know, what, what should we edit? Let's see. Let's do the TNT. So I'm going to select all since we don't need that and then delete the rest this might take a bit all right so what feels like an eternity later we are now done so let's move on over to the items uh i think we could probably i think i know what we're gonna edit the wooden sword and the trident i think that's uh that's good right there and now it's time to wait another eternity all right and that is done all right and now i'm also gonna edit some armor textures so we could probably do the diamond uh, the diamond stuff since, you know, that's probably the most common thing that's going to be edited. And I'm just actually going to edit the manifest, uh, which is basically the important part of texture pack. It's what makes it work. So I'm going to edit the description and say, I don't know, test pack uh, made by its safe case. I'm also going to add a name, uh, test pack, and bam, there we go. So something else we have to do is change the UUID which is uh these two things it's kind of hard to explain but you just have to know that uh, you have to change them so I have two UUID generators uh, the first one it went down for a bit I remember once and so I found a second one so you can use either one but I'm just gonna use the first one and the way to use this is that you just put a two here and then you press generate and now you have two UUIDs, which is precisely what you need. And I'll also show for the other website as to what you need to do there. Alright, so once you open up this website, all you need to do is go over here to bulk UUID generator, which is under version 1 UUID. You just want to press that. Then, like the other website, you just press 2. And then you press generate. And there's your two UUIDs. Alright, so we're back in here, so all we have to do is paste the first one. And now we're going to go get the second one right here. So let's just select that easily. And then just plop that in there. Bam. Alright, so that's basically the actual manifest done, which, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to add in a custom pack icon. And bam, there we go, we imported this. So all we have to do is delete this one. And rename the new one to pack underscore icon and also make sure i think maybe jpegs work i'm not sure or jpgs but 
a PNG is what I always use so if it doesn't work just set it to a PNG so you could just change over here like the ending part to I don't know this so I'm just gonna just set it to PNG if it doesn't work alright so now comes the actual fun part editing textures so I think we're gonna start off with the block uh, the block so I'll just start with the TNT face I think that's all I'm going to change I might change the top of the texture to have like maybe like a like a little fire thing at the end so let's just go over here and save these two images and now let's go over on to an image editor now there's two of them uh, Pixlr and Photop. personally I use Pixlr in order to make textures Photop is what I use to make my thumbnails so I'm just gonna be going over on to Pixlr so you just want to go over here on to open image actually wait let me go on to Safari since I don't think it works with Opera GX so we're just gonna press open image and then press photo library and select the images so bam there we go I selected both of the images so here you can see there's two little tabs and these are the two images so I think what I'm probably gonna do for the TNT is make it say I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do perfect alright so now we have uh, that section done and now we're gonna move on to the top so for this uh, the idea I had is to add maybe like a little fire thing at the end of this thing right here the fuse I think it's called never mind this idea completely flopped all the colors blend in way too much with the, the top texture which you know sometimes happens when you're making textures but I'm just gonna leave this texture be so this is um, the only custom texture we're gonna be making for the blocks Alright, so when exporting this, make sure it's on PNG and transparent is on right there. Alright, so then we're going to press save as, and then here we can actually save some time by actually naming it what it needs to be named, which is uh, TNT underscore side. So we're just going to do that really quickly, TNT underscore side. Make sure it's exactly the way like it's written over here. And then you have to go over here, and then over here, and then save image, and then you have to go on over here delete this one and then press the plus mark and then import from photos or files I'm gonna do it from files actually okay and over here we're just gonna press on TNT underscore side and BAM there it is alright so let's do items it's basically the same process so this one's gonna be a bit shorter so I'm just gonna save these two images really quickly and do the rest so yeah, I think I'm gonna just do it like a time-lapse of this so uh, enjoy All right, and there we go. We have uh, two textures done. So for the trident, I kind of made it like a gradient for the handle right there. And the sword, I just decided to make a, a blue wooden blade, and then some whitish uh, wooden handles, and then at the bottom, I don't know what that's called. All right, there we go. I did the exact same thing as I did with the blocks. And so now we have this, blocks, and I'm just gonna do this by myself. And bam, just like magic. So now with everything uh, of the pack done, we can go back to the main section of documents, press select over here, and then press compress. And now down here we have a test pack.zip. So now you just want to rename that to MC pack. And that is it. Now you have a texture pack. So all you have to do is uh, press it and then import over to Minecraft. And there you have your texture pack. And there you can see the texture pack imported. And so if we go down over here into global resources, you can see it is right there, test pack. To prove that the pack actually works, I decided to make a world with uh, all the things that I decided to edit. Alright, so the first thing, uh, as you can probably see in my hand, I have the edited sword I made. And you know, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. It doesn't look too bad. And here we can have the diamond armor, so obviously I didn't edit the armor icons. But I did edit the models, so when I put it on... Red armor, baby. And we also have the edited trident, which... Uh, okay, I didn't realize that when you hold it in your hand, it's actually a model. Probably should have realized that. The icon is edited. And of course, we have our TNT. Dude, that's kind of a massive crater right there. Oh. Anyways, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope this helped some of you out there, and uh, yeah, see ya. How are you going? Look thirsty. Oh, How cheers, you going, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, you that? Thank yeah. you. Yeah, whatever. Nah, nah, nah. What the? Nah, mate, nah, nah. You want this? Yeah, oh. there you go, mate. Cheers. Oh. Thank, thanks, mate. You think I'm going to run there? You think I want to hit your